During experience expectant learning, the brain expects, hence the name, and is primed for exposure to environmental stimuli, that is, experience. This environmental experience results in a rewiring of the neural circuitry of the brain, that is, an establishment of a neural pathway that results in learning. So, for instance, shortly after birth, the brain expects to be exposed to visual images, and when it is, we get a development of the neural circuitry in the visual cortex. A similar process occurs for the other sensory systems, auditory, etc. Experience dependent learning, on the other hand, refers to the additional skills developed over the lifespan that the brain doesn't expect to be exposed to. For example, an Eskimo child learning how to build an igloo, well, the brain doesn't expect to be exposed to this type of information. So the development of igloo building skills in terms of the spatial component, the fine and gross motor skills required, these are all experience dependent. And whether it be through operant conditioning or through observational learning, the neural circuitry in terms of the changes required to develop this skill is dependent on the actual learning process, being exposed to igloo building. So let's highlight distinguishing features between experience expectant learning and experience dependent learning. In terms of stage of the lifespan that the genetic structural modifications occur, well early in life for experience expectant learning during infancy and early childhood for experience dependent learning, it can occur over the lifespan. So you can teach an old dog new tricks. In, ter in terms of specifically during which period, well during sensitive periods of learning for experience expectant learning and for experience dependent learning there's no optimal period. In terms of language, the brain expects to be exposed to a primary language, particularly during that sensitive period between the age of three to seven. The brain doesn't expect to be exposed to multiple languages, so for you bilinguals out there the development of your second language, well that was dependent on exposure to a second language. And an older person can learn a second language, but we know not as efficiently as a younger person. In terms of it being general or specific, experience expectant learning is general, i.e. we're all exposed to visual stimuli shortly after birth, auditory stimuli, etc. In terms of experience dependent learning, well that's unique to individuals, i.e. specific in terms of young Eskimos learning how to build igloos, etc.